Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crewcraft. How is everybody doing today? I'm doing mighty fine. I'm feeling nice and fresh for this episode. This is going to be a fun one because we are diving in to a brand new mod that I've never looked into before. Now, last episode, we did some preparation work and we actually went out and found some asteroids and some coolness around that. And I got a bunch to show you guys um, sort of at the start of this episode. I've been using this tree farm that I built um, sort of at the end of last episode. It's been doing mighty fine and um, it's getting me all the magic wood that I'm going to need to do this uh, this little project of a tower that we're doing here um anyway anyway where's this chest at it's over here so this is the stuff we sort of collected i do have some more certus quartz in another chest i think it might be underground somewhere um but anyway these are the presses now last episode we found three presses we actually found a duplicate and i went ahead and traded um elliot and thomas and they gave me the silicone press which is pretty awesome so i can use this thing um, to go ahead and get started on applied energistics mod. We're gonna be making some chest and doing some cool stuff. Um, before we get started on that though, let me go ahead and show you guys down here. Oh man, hi. What are you? What are you? Why is there a Ooh, there's sounds? I don't like I don't like these sounds. Goodness, there's a lot of bad guys in here. <gasps> Why? Why are there so many? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Are we all dead? Are we all dead? I apologize. It's dark in here. Um, so these are all the ore berry bushes that we collected at the uh, at last episode, right? We went mining and stuff. So here are all the little ore berry bushes that we collected. I apologize that it's dark in here. Sort of hard to see. Um, but I believe it has to be dark in here for these ore berry bushes to really grow at the maximum rate. I, I think that's right. I don't know. I don't... I don't know, but I'm leaving it dark in here for now, just so I can get these oreberry bushes growing and stuff. Um, but these things are super, super useful. It's it's kind of hard in this biome uh, because I like to add, you know, sort of brightness to my videos a little bit. Um, so that way you can at least see when we're in a dark room like this. Because if I didn't add brightness, for some reason YouTube makes these rooms like pitch black which is kind of annoying and then when we go up here and it's like bright white it's sort of sort of hard to match the uh match the brightness intensities throughout the video i don't know i'm trying my best with this bio man it'll be a lot better once we move into our tower and we don't have to deal with this this super bright snow um but anyway anyway we got all these nice little ore berry bushes now i really love this the uh, xp one because i go in for one collection and i get 14 levels which is quite a lot and i can put all these levels in this tank here where they sort of wait around um i've also gotten quite a bit of we'll drop you in this chest i got quite a bit of aluminum copper iron and tin and in case you guys didn't know this but what you do is you take the um you take the little ore berry oh, ore berry nuggets and you cook them in a furnace and then in return you get nuggets back which is uh which is a pretty good trade you know it's not the not the most efficient where are my nuggets coming out i'm getting what is this this is aluminum are you getting aluminum nuggets where are these aluminum nuggets Oh, there they go. All right, cool. So yeah, you can go ahead and make some ingots out of those nuggets. Anywho, guys, in between episodes, I did a little bit of a touch up on our old little base here, tower thing. And um, I sort of did, I finished the packed ice trim that's going around the bottom. So if you guys notice here, there's sort of a line of packed ice that goes around each side. And what I did is I went ahead and I took that packed ice and I basically just went all around all the sides. And I think this is a great touch. It really, it really stands out from a distance. It sort of adds that nice little finish to it. Um, from afar, but it also it also adds sort of um, it, it makes it look like it's more structurally stable because Without this hardened ice. I was thinking that these legs just look a little too skinny like they were only three blocks wide and it just looked like they couldn't support a gigantic tower. So um, by adding this ice on the edges, um, just this little line around the sides, I think it adds a huge touch. What is this creeper doing down there? What are you doing, buddy? Get out of here. Oh, there's a skeleton too, man. It's going to be a struggle lighting up this tower because it's a... Um, it's 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 a lot of uh, it's a lot of you know different little ices that can melt 
ice ice and lights don't really work together so it'll be interesting once we finish this tower and we have to light it up but that's the project for another day i would like to work on the tower at least a little bit every episode that would be that would make good progress so you know by the end we'll have um we'll have sort of a finished product um so we're gonna be working on that hopefully maybe starting to move in i don't know i don't know i want to at least get the first floor done and sort of start moving some of, some of my items um but anyway Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go up here now, boop, and I'm going to actually do a little bit of, um, I'm going to do a little bit of mining because there's this ice castle over here. Originally, before we started working on the tower down there, I had plans to build like an ice castle up here and I sort of did an outline. I basically made two giant circles and this was going to be like where the tower, um, the, where the tower something, I don't know, I had a plan somewhere sort of sort of lost it um but anyway oh my i'm mining so fast you don't even hear the breaking animation holy crap look at this look at us go Woo! i added haste to this thing recently and it is on fire right now jeez oh man this is awesome this is like even that has a breaking sound this just breaks so fast it doesn't even wow that is impressive um i i guess i cleaned up this thing on camera didn't i this is why i love mod packs man it just makes it so much easier to do little stupid tasks like this like mm, it's awesome it, it really is um but anyway anyway i'm gonna go ahead and sort of get set up on applied energistics and then we can go ahead and um let's go ahead and take a look at that mod all right guys so we're finally going to be working on applied energistics and i i had to bring in the best for some help with this mod i'm here with the the Baba Doodle. How's it going? Hey. Hey. Not not Baba Doodle anymore. No, oh yeah, not Baba Doodle. You got a name change <laughs> with the new. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Clutch two down. Okay, so we're here with Clutch Two Down, formerly known as Baba Doodle. Mm. And we're gonna be doing some applied energistics because he's a master at this mod. Kind of. You've mastered it. You got your PhD. Your yeah, masters. I got my food. You were you were good with this mod. I haven't I haven't messed around with it, so we're going to be going on an adventure today. Okay, so step one. Going? I got here here's all of the quartz in here. I got I got tons of it. Tons of it. We got some charged and some normal. It's all in the ore formation though, because I have the silk touch, you know? So you you actually have a looting X, don't you? Yeah, do you want to use it? Yeah, go ahead. You can go ahead and break oh, okay. those. Oh, this is probably gonna drop a ton of XP too. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, you, not like I already have enough of that. <laughs> he has like tanks full of. We were going through your base today, and we found a hidden XP like under his base, a gigantic tank of it. How much I have? I have four and a half stacks. Four and a half stacks. How many do you think we need? Like, what's the the estimate? I've probably used two stacks. Two stacks. <laughs> And I have quite a bit. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I harvest this stuff with Silk Touch, not knowing that you get eight per like. Yeah, you get like thing. between like five and This stuff took ages eight. to find too. I was I was running through caves and I would just basically. Oh, you thought it was like one or two per? Yeah, I thought I thought you only got one. Oh my god! Honest. So then you just like kept on getting it. Yeah. And we're gonna get, and you can duplicate this stuff too, right? Yeah, but the duplicated stuff can't be used for everything, so don't duplicate all of it. All right. Like duplicate some of it because you need it for some um, processor. Oh, are you, there was like some lightning effects. Yeah, there's a charged one. Oh, look at the charge stuff. Yeah, if those... you charge stuff in, there's like lightning bolts everywhere. It's pretty cool. Really? Yeah. What? Look at that. Yeah. They're like communicating. <laughs> Osmosis. <laughs> Osmosis. This is this is science class right here. That's cool. Okay, what's the first step? Okay, so the first thing we need, uh, you already have your power set up. I do. So, we need that converter, right? Yeah, you need the energy acceptor. Okie dokie. So that takes, that's pretty easy to build. Yeah, this just, just converts the, um, doesn't it convert, it converts like the thermal energy into uh, a repopulation. Oh, he's working on his cow farm, isn't he? Oh, here's, I, I found quartz. Okay, we're ready to do this. Uh, do you have a torch so this doesn't freeze? A torch? What in the world? Oh. Does it take long? No. We should be all right. Just break a little hole. Yeah, right there. So you just toss it all in. Toss in charged. Charged. Okay. Quartz. Uh, nor ne uh, nether quartz. And then redstone. Redstone. And then just oh, let it. Whoa! That was. That Did was you just quick. pick it all up? Yeah, that was cool. Okay, so we have forty of this stuff now. All right, I'm sleeping. 
Whoa, you're not even on your bed. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. I you're see like, like I see like the void when I sleep in this bed. You're like the two blocks behind it. You're like <laughs> you're like doing the six inches thing. You're doing Whoa. some core work. You sleep <laughs> with your feet on the pillow and then your head on the chest. Yep, that's how I do it. That's how I do it. <laughs> Take it them rock hard. Okay. <laughs> how do I make this um what do I need? I need quartz glass. Energy oh my acceptor. goodness. Alright, so you've got the acceptor and the um Okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to do this. So we got the acceptor, right? Yeah. And this well, you takes... Should put it, like, right here on the end of this. Right there? Um, right there's fine. Yeah. Okay, fine. So okay. it's accepting it, and then... Pop the energy cube next to it. Put the energy cube next to it? Yeah, over here. All right, there we go. And then you want to pull the cables out. Okie dokie. Right here. Then... We, we also have our trusty little wrench guy. Yeah. All right, so we'll have this guy going where i guess i gotta build okay so you want to explain the seeds and how the seeds work yeah so you basically if you um get the dust and then you uh so if you pulverize the um like quartz or nether quartz then you can um add sand to it and make a seed and then if you leave it in a puddle of water for a little while It'll grow. You need to add a white yeah, so the bottom one. You make you make these little seeds and, and then, then it basically just ooh, doubles. There's water in there. Yeah, it's it's an easy way to double your quartz and stuff like that. So these little accelerators, they speed up that process. Ooh, we got a snowball. Alright, so we need some water in here. There we go. Alright, so let's make some seeds. How do we make these seeds? It's just sand and uh, pulverized. Or and the, the dust. Sand oop, sand in the dust. Yeah. Oh, the dust. So we need the dust form of this quartz. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and make some more of this sort of quartz. This sort of quartz stuff. It's like the funnest stuff to make, because it looks so cool. Are the flux? Yeah, making the flux. Like you throw this like lightning. It's like I'm feel like a witch. Ooh. And then it's like. All yeah, it, it back pops to you. back at me. Oh man. Yeah. All right. So I guess I gotta pulverize some of this flux. We're gonna go ahead, make some of these seeds and plop them in here. This stuff uses a lot of um of power from what I've seen so yeah, ooh, I mean, so they get, take decades to yeah well they really get sped up from this thing but it's gonna be a lot yeah. of um, power so this stuff it gives you, you two hope. seeds back and then you can use these seeds and you grow them back into like the quartz or whatever so it's a nice yeah. easy way to double it but I think this is gonna take a lot of power we'll have to see if we're losing <laughs> they're on stage three. <gasps> oh, this is done. awesome they're done they're done it was that quick! <laughs> all right, how mad are you right now? I waited literally two weeks for that. <laughs> yeah, it takes... If you don't have these charger stations, it takes you... It, I, I haven't even had a chance to put in my other ones yet. That's how fast these are done. Holy crap. Do you realize how quickly I can just double everything now? Yeah, but... um, Quick thing, don't double all of it. Because... Um, you can't use pure for everything. Some of the things you have to use... You can't? How do I turn this pure quartz yeah. into regular quartz? You can't. You can't? Yeah, that's the problem. What do I do with it? It's You can use it as pure quartz, but... What? What do I do with pure quartz? There's recipes. And you can you can substitute it for, uh, like, normal quartz. In the How recipes. do I look at... Oh, here are the recipes. Oh, so you make a block of quartz that way. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, wait. Look at this. Look at this. I can make a block of quartz using the pure quartz and then turn it back into normal and then quartz. pulverize it in normal quartz yeah you're not gaining anything though what do you mean i'm not getting anything oh am i losing no you're it's saying the same because you're doubling it and then it takes eight uh it takes eight pure to make a block are you serious instead of four yeah so oh really... wow they thought of that yeah oh so that doesn't double it no otherwise i would just sit there for decades Oh my goodness, that is so sad. That'd be so awesome though. I thought I could double all my quartz. Alrighty, well, after after hours of work, not really, it only took us about, I would say around an hour of um just doing stuff. And this mod, man, this mod is so tedious. Like, how did I miss you? 
How do, oh my goodness, you have a very big head, my friend. A gigantic head there. Alright, now you're dead. Um, but this mod, it is so tedious. It's just like, oopsies, didn't mean to pause that game. Um, but it is just, it takes so long to do everything. And it's not even like really, it's not like fun. We're not really doing anything exciting here. We're just like, like look at this. We have to have charged Certus Quartz. And um, a cool thing about this, um, this Certus Quartz is you can place it in a charger. And it goes ahead and, you know, sort of charges. But look how long it's taking. Like, it took that long to charge one. You can only charge one at a time. So, it it's kind of, I don't know. I don't know about this mod. It's it's fun and it's, or it's not really fun, but it's just super useful. And it is a lot of work that's not, you know, the most exciting. Um, but it definitely is necessary. And it's going to make just, you know, our lives so much better. Because it's going to be, it's going to be so awesome. So anyway, let me kind of explain the setup we have here. We sort of built this part together. Um, where we have the, uh, the guys here that can sort of make seeds. And the seeds are really weird because they give you pure Surtis Quartz and stuff. And the pure stuff can only be used for certain things. I was thinking that you could just basically duplicate it and turn it into anything. But unfortunately, that's, it's not really the case. You can only, you can only use pure Surtis Quartz for certain things. So it's useful in some aspects, um, but in the long run, it doesn't really save you too much. Um, especially the amount of resources that I spent making this little charging station over there um but yeah yeah what we got set up here is we have ourselves a charger down here we have two inscribers which are used to you know be, pretty much make all the other machines and we have this guy which is this thing is oh i'm crafting something up here aren't i what am i trying to craft i don't know i'm trying to make i'm trying to make these guys right booyah now we got 10 of them and i think i can can i uh i'm trying to think what do i want do I want you? I don't know. We have 10 of these these energy cells, right? Yeah. Yeah, we have 10 energy cells. And I wanted to make um, a dense one, right? A dense energy cell? How do I make this? Dense energy cell. So it's 10 of them surrounding... Or it's 8 of them surrounding this guy. And then... It's just... It's a lot of work, man. And it's not really... Like I said before, it's not really the most exciting work. It's just sort of here... Um, these are what the presses do. The, the animation behind them is really cool. So I think I need the calculation press and put in a pier. So you put in this and it basically presses them together. Like you can see there's the press and there's the thing. Oh, isn't that cool? That is so cool. So it squishes them together and gives you a little, um, gives you a little press. I got to make one with silicone. I love this animation, man. It is so cute. And then I think I got to put this with redstone and the silicone press together and then this gives me it, right? Yeah, yeah, we're good to go. Um, but anyway, anyway, this is our system set up here, and it is working. It is. I'm trying to show you guys, but I'm trying to build this thing. Booyah, dense energy cell. This thing, this thing took me ages. It's just an upgraded version of that. That's all it is, man. Uh, but y this is the terminal. This is what we've worked so hard to build. It's actually, it's it's nighttime, so I'm kind of scared. I've already had one creeper. Oh, yeah, my bed's blown up. Yep. Yep. I've already had one creeper accident today. I don't want a second at all. All right. Well, it's daytime. Um. Anyway, anyway, this this thing's finally complete. It's definitely not, you know, there's a lot of stuff um, that we're going to add on to this mod. Um, but I think we should take the same approach as we're taking with our tower. And that is, instead of trying to build a super complex system of, you know, chest storage right now, uh, we'll just build what we need, and then as we need more, we'll just, you know, keep expanding upon it, which I think will be, I think it'll be fun. Um, here we go, here we go. This is what we have worked ages. So what is this thing here? What are you seeing? Well, um, basically, this is the terminal right here, and this is the block that we've spent a long time to build as well this is called the me drive and you can put little drives in it right now i only have one drive in it um, but the cool thing about this is uh, basically you just drop something in here it goes ahead it stores it in this drive you can see there's nine um there's nine items in there and i think i put nine wool or maybe i haven't i don't know why does it say nine is used up huh nine out of four thousand bits used what if i plop in you what does it say now 25 out of 4,000. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe it's not 4,000 items. Maybe it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. It decides how many items. I thought it would. Ah, uh, I'm kind of confused now. Um, but it allows 63 different types of items. So I have two types in there right now and 4,096 bytes used. I don't know how many bytes that is though. 
if I guess it's, it doesn't have to be items because I have well over a stack of items in there interesting interesting uh, but I'm gonna start moving all of my junk everything's going in this bad boy we're putting everything I do kind of like having some of my stuff separated out here like I like having my ores in this chest um, but this chest man this is going to be totally Emmy system and along with pretty much all I swear to God oh no 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 oh my goodness you have to be joking me no I'm about to cry I'm about to cry I had everything perfectly organized you even blew up my chest didn't you gee that's the second one in like 20 minutes Second explosion in 20 minutes. I'm lucky it only blew up those two, aren't I? Yeah, that could have been a lot worse. Oh, man. Oh, man. Creepers, what can you do? So many snowballs. This is the one bad thing about living in this biome, too. It's just snowballs everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Okay, well... Well, that's the second creeper. That was really unfortunate, man. I don't know how this is happening. And there's, like, a giant hole. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. And so then we can get started on something else. Oh my goodness, I hate when that happens, especially because all my stuff's so concentrated in this, like, little location. Luckily, it, it missed a lot of stuff, like, it blew up in almost the perfect spot. We did lose a couple expensive chests, um, but that's alright, it blew up in a pretty perfect spot there. Imagine if it blew up this thing, oh my goodness. I would have I would have cried man that would have been absolutely terrible but I think we made great progress on this I can't wait to start throwing in all my stuff um, but I do think I'm going to you know take out some stuff like like just junk is basically gonna go in here it's gonna be my junk chest that I can go through um, but I do still like to have you know my ores over here and this is my Emmy stuff in here and I have my ice stuff in here so I, I do sort of like having the different chests uh, but chests like this that just make me want to throw up like oh my goodness I can't stand this right now this is all going in the Emmy system this is all going in the Emmy system this guy and this guy and this guy and all these just junk chests are gonna be Emmy uh, but I do like having you know a little thermal expansion chest and stuff like that um but let me show you guys oh this guy is gonna go in here there we go and i think you're going in i don't know i don't know you're going in the me system we're plopping you over here unfortunately it's not in the best location at the moment uh we can easily move this guy around but but at the moment man we are struggling for um for our design and our layout here it's definitely temporary and as we sort of build into our main house we'll We'll start sorting it out. Where's my hang glider at? Here you are. Okie dokie. Let me show you guys the progress that I've been making on our house. Because I've been working on this thing and I absolutely love this project. Because um, this is my first like huge building project in quite a while. I haven't built anything gigantic in Minecraft for quite some time. So I'm pretty happy with how this thing's turning out, man. It is, it is starting to look sort of cool. We're getting this nice little symmetrical look here i'm still i'm still working on it though we got this side to do i think it's going sideways like this and then this mattock's pretty nice as well being able to mine and then it's gonna go up one two three there we go the double jump also really helps double jump oh my goodness it's almost as good as being able to fly i'll tell you man it is it is pretty life-saving um but i'm having thoughts on what to do about the ice situation i was thinking we could use ice for um I was thinking we could use ice for windows and stuff, uh, but if we use carpenter's blocks on the ice, they aren't transparent anymore. Like, that, not transparent. Like, normal ice, carpenter block ice. So, it's definitely going to be noticeable, man, if we use the carpenter blocks um, as the ice, which we're, we're going to have to in certain situations, but hopefully, hopefully we can make it work. I'm just, I'm just hoping this, um, this tower comes along along well and also sort of soon because I am tired of having creepers blow up like that just happened over there like that was ridiculous man that shouldn't ever happen ever is this the edge right here am I going up I'm sort of trying to I'm still trying to figure out the design and layout or no we're going oh man I'm messing this up aren't I messing it up on camera live or where am I 
Um, okay, this goes two. Okay, I had a brain fart there for a second. This house, it's it's quite tedious to build as well. Everything's sort of taking a lot of time. And unfortunately, at the moment, I don't have the most amount of time. I think I'm going to go ahead and finish this guy up. It shouldn't be... It shouldn't be too much here. One, one, two. There we go. And then we go up here. Booyah. But my plans, my plans for this, it's basically to create symmetrical awesomeness. So every level, there's not going to be a, you know, a single pattern going all the way up the tower. Um, instead, we're going to have every level different. So this level will look kind of spiky like this. And then the next level will, um, next level will do more. Um, you know a different design and a different pattern and I think it'll look cool for the For the finale. I was thinking um, What was I thinking? I was thinking um, the walls What are we gonna use for the walls at least on the inside? So the dealio with the walls is we are going to have a layer of something I don't know what it is yet, but we're gonna have a layer right here and then we're going to have a layer of ice right here and then we're going to have the snow. So it's going to be a layer of ice right here, and then a layer of wall, and then a layer of snow. And I don't know what we're gonna have behind the ice. Definitely not more. Whoa, oh man, we are falling off. All right, let's see what this looks like from the outside. That looks, I don't know, it looks kind of cool. We'll have to we'll have to do more work with it, but it's definitely a start, especially um, imagine the ice. Um, if we go up here, imagine this little bit of ice here this stuff imagine this stuff looking like this stuff imagine it being chiseled and having crazy patterns in it that's that's what we're planning on but unfortunately that's all the time i have for today's episode um i did you know what i take that back i want to build some tiny tnt so this stuff was added in applied energistics and i i haven't really messed around with it too much um, oh man, we're gonna be making a lot here, aren't we? This is the cutest stuff though, man. It is absolutely, it is absolutely adorable. Let me go ahead and, I'm sorry, I'm eating in front of you guys. I try not to eat in front of you guys, but sometimes I can't help it. These potatoes are so tasty, man. This is looking like a mess. Ew, I hate, I hate disorganized stuff. I'm really, in the future, um, as we move into our main house here, I'm gonna try to, you know, make stuff not look as bad as this. We'll try to keep it nice and organized. And up one of the pillars or something, I would like to have a cable um, that brings power throughout the entire house. So that way any level that I'm on um, could have power, you know, that way I could charge my tools at any level and also stuff like that. That'll be a cool idea. Um, But here we go. Tiny TNT. Are you guys ready for some anti-climatic ending? <laughs> this stuff is the cutest. It's the cutest little idea. Or You know what? We're going to go and we're going to go blow up someone's house. We're going to go grief their house up. We'll go blow up Nick's house. He's about to... He's not on right now. Nobody's on. We are going to be evil. All right, here we go. Oh, man, this is... Ooh, we are so evil right now. So evil. This is going to leave a hole. Oh, shoot. I'm missing the show. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Cutest explosion ever. It gave us black all the... It gave us back all the blocks now, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see, let's see it again. Oh, we're gonna get him. We're about to troll him up. <laughs> that doesn't even count. It doesn't even count as TNT. It gives us all the blocks back, too. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. The TNT is apologizing. It blows up, and it leaves a little sorry note. Oh, my goodness. That's adorable. Oh, Nick doesn't... He needs power to the, the little growth device. I'll have to tell him that. But take this. Take that. We're wrecking up your house. What you got, Nick? <laughs> Oh my goodness, he is trolled. It's trolled up. Oh my, this is too much. How much hard does it launch me? Oh, I didn't even take damage, did I? Nope, didn't even take damage. Look at this, I could stand inside of the TNT. Whee! Oh, we did take damage there. It's like it barely touches us and then it says sorry immediately. Well, that's the cutest thing ever. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of CrewCraft. These episodes are a lot of fun to make, man. And, um... Real quick before I end it, we're getting to that point where uh, we're sort of we're sort of wanting to add more mods to the mod pack because we're not running out. There's so much stuff we can do, um, but it would definitely be fun if we can add you know some new little fun mods 
into the mod pack so please tell us if you guys have any recommendations you guys have been recommending us different mods that we should add and we're definitely thinking about them and we're writing them down on a little list and we're gonna we'll try to add some mods if they don't work out we'll remove them if we really like them we'll keep them uh, but recommend what mods you think we should add to the pack because we'll definitely do it man we'll try them out for at least a little bit um, other than that be sure to download the mod pack in the description my name is crew and I will see you guys next time. Adios.